In this video, I am going to explain division when the dividend and the divisor are multiples of 10, which means the last digit in the dividend and the divisor both will be 0. I'll explain the concept through an example. 4560 divided by 30. You can see that the last digit in the dividend as well as the divisor both are zeros. In such case all you have to do is cancel the zero in the dividend and the zero in the divisor and after that divide the number formed by the digits remaining in the dividend by the digit that is left in the divisor. There is an important point to remember here. Always keep in mind that the number of zeros that you cancel should be the same in both the dividend and the divisor. This means if there is only one zero in the divisor, then only one zero can be cancelled from the dividend. Likewise, if the dividend has only one zero in the end, then even if the divisor has more than one zero, only one can be cancelled from both the dividend and the divisor. Always remember this important point. Let's continue with the sum. Cancel the zero in the divisor and the zero in the dividend and divide 456 by 3. We will do linear division. So put an equal to sign and divide the first digit 4 by 3. 3 will go once. 3 ones are 3 and the remainder is 1. Carry over 1 and divide 15 by 3. 3 will go 5 times. The remainder is 0. So you divide the last digit 6 by 3. 3 will go 2 times. 3 2s are 6. The final remainder is 0. Quotient is equal to 152 and remainder is equal to 0. The next example is 6800 divided by 40. You can see that the dividend has two zeros while the divisor has only one zero. Remember that important point? Even if there are two zeros in the dividend, if there is only one zero in the divisor, you can cancel only one zero from the dividend as well as the divisor. We'll write the sum again to begin solving. 6800 divided by 40. Cancel 1 0 from the divisor and 1 0 from the dividend. We are left with 680 divided by 4. Put the equal to sign and divide the first digit 6 by 4. 4 will go once and the digit carried over is 2. Divide 28 by 4. 4 will go 7 times. 4 7s are 28 and there is one more digit left to divide. 0 by 4 which is equal to 0 and since there is no remainder Q is equal to 170 and R is equal to 0. The third example that we are going to do is 17,090 divided by 50. In the sum also you can see two zeros in the dividend and one zero in the divisor. But look at the first zero in the dividend. It is in between the number which means it cannot be cancelled. You can cancel only the last zero in the dividend along with the last zero in the divisor. <coughs> so we will write the sum again and cancel the last zero in the divisor and last zero in the dividend and we have to divide 1709 by 5 which is equal to you can't divide 1 it is lesser than 5 so we take 1717 together and when you divide 17 by 5 you get 3 and remainder 2 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4 and there is no remainder so we divide the last digit 9 by 5 which is equal to 1 
5 ones are 5 and 9 minus 5 is 4 which is our final remainder. That's the quotient 341 and remainder is equal to 4. The last example that we are going to do today is 25,300 divided by 600. You can see here the dividend has two zeros as well as the divisor also has two zeros. Since the number of zeros are same in both the dividend and the divisor, we can cancel all the zeros here. So write the sum 25,300 divided by 600 and cancel two zeros in the divisor, two zeros in the dividend. What are we left with? 253 divided by 6 equal to 2 is lesser than 6 so we can't divide. What will we do? Divide 25 by 6. 6 will go 4 times. 6 4s are 24 which means the remainder is 1. Now divide 13 by 6. 6 will go 2 times. 6 2s are 12 and 13 minus 12 is 1. That's the final remainder in the answer. Q is equal to 42 and R is equal to 1. I hope the concept is clear to everybody.